Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out Reshiram and its new legacy move, Fusion Flare, in the Master League. Fusion Flare is a fire type charge move that is a fire clone of the move Psy Strike, meaning that while it is a bait move at 45 energy, it packs a pretty serious punch with 90 damage. For the team, I tested out Theory and Landorus on the lead, Dialga as the safe switch, and had some pretty nice sets in level 40 masters versus members of my Discord. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out if Fusion Flare Reshiram is worth it in the Master League. Hopping to the first match, picking up a pretty nice lead, Therian Landorus into Zacian. Considering I have two dragons in the back, I am very happy to catch the Zacian on the lead. They're staying in, so I'm going to fire off the Stone Edge. Stone Edge will hit for some solid neutral damage. My opponent has farmed up to quite a lot of energy, and they're going to start throwing it here. They go for the wild charge. I'm going to try and go for CMP, but they recognize my plan and they end up going for the extra. Superpower would KO with their lower defense. They're going to commit the shield and then fire off another wild charge. Wild charge is going to get me very low. Opponent is going to send in ho -Oh. I'm able to save the Landorus for later and bring in Dialga. Dialga with the shield advantage is in a pretty nice spot here. I'm going to respect the potential Sacred Fire or Earthquake. They are running Earthquake. I'm going to farm up and then fire off the Draco Meteor just before they're able to to get to the Brave Bird. Draco Meteor will, of course, easily KO, and my opponent is going to let that go. Now we'll have to see, do we see their third, or do they bring back in the Zacian? In comes the Zacian. Zacian's health is starting to get a bit low, and they're forced to lower their defense by throwing here. So you know what? I'm gonna let this go, and Dragon Breath down with Reshiram in the back. They have Zarud, and Zarud is not going to appreciate Fusion Flare. Fusion Flare, as I mentioned, is 45 energy, so it does charge fairly quickly, and it hits quite hard at that. I'm farming up, and I'm very close to the back-to-back -back Fusion Flares. I'm firing off the first one it's got a cool animation and we get the shield and the second one is going to KO Reshiram takes out Zarud we should be able to farm down this Zacian as well after committing a shield and that will be game over Moving into the next match, picking up a tough lead, Therian Landorus into Giratina Origin. I do have two better responses in the back, so I will immediately save switch into Dialga, and my opponent responds with Zacian. Here, I don't honestly play the best. What I should do is wait until they close combat to fire off the Iron Head, so that way I can force a shield, whereas if I throw before they close combat, as you can see, they can comfortably tank the Iron Head, and now I'm not able to force a shield in the mid game. So a bit of an unfortunate play by me. They're gonna go for the back-to-back -back close combats, and since they're debuffed, honestly, I'm gonna Dragon Breath down with Reshiram. That way I can get Reshiram a bit of an energy lead while still maintaining a ton of health. We'll have to see what my opponent has in the back, and they're running a double fairy strategy. They have Togekiss. I'm gonna farm up to the overheat, and I'm gonna bait with the slightly cheaper Fusion Flare. Fusion Flare is able to get the shield. In comes Therian Landorus. They're staying in here. They are farming up some energy, and now they're gonna send in Giratina, but I have a pretty sizable energy lead. I'm gonna fire off the Stone Edge. Stone Edge gets them below half health. Opponent continues to farm, and they lose CMP to my Landorus. That is massive. This Stone Edge is going to get rid of the Giratina. In comes Togekiss. Togekiss now has to attempt to charm down, but Landorus is able to hang on, reaching the last second Stone Edge. Stone Edge gets the shield. In comes Reshiram. I could very safely go for the overheat and win the game, but I figured this would be a decent demonstration of how much damage Fusion Flare can do. As you can see, Togekiss, which has some decent bulk to it, is a bit over half health, and Fusion Flare just about KOs. So Fusion Flare, despite the cheap cost, packs a serious punch. Tough lead in the next match, Landorus into Mewtwo. I save switch into Dialga, and my opponent responds with Togekiss. Honestly, I'm thrilled to see Togekiss here, because Dialga can typically force shields. I fire off the Iron Head, I'm able to grab the shield, and at this point, they're gonna have to throw a charge move if they wanna prevent my second Iron Head. They're going for the farm down, and that's gonna cost them their second shield. I fire off Iron Head number two, opponent commits the shield, and they're gonna get the farm down. That honestly worked out great for me. I got two shields, I can send in Landorus, tank the Ancient Power or Flamethrower, and reach the Stone Edge. They have a ton of energy, I'm just gonna let this through. I should tank whatever they throw here, but they're running Dazzling Gleam, and it nearly KOs. I reach the Stone Edge, but they make a beautiful catch, catching the Stone Edge onto their Snorlax. It's actually a Shadow Snorlax, but now with shields down, it's time for Reshiram to shine. Reshiram should be able to shield once, farm all the way down, and leave with a ton of loaded energy to help take care of the Togekiss and the Mewtwo. 
I now have well over an overheat and not far off back-to-back -back fusion flares. My opponent is going to send in the Togekiss. Togekiss definitely not going to appreciate the fusion flare. Fusion flare KOs. In comes Mewtwo. Mewtwo is going to get hit with the overheat. Hello Mewtwo. Goodbye Mewtwo. And that is a good game. Tricky lead in the next match, Theory and Landorus into Lugia. I do, of course, have the ability to hit Lugia for super effective with a Stone Edge, but the unfortunate thing is Landorus is pretty frail, so these Dragon Tails definitely add up. Stone Edge is able to land, Lugia continues to farm, and I'm able to make a catch, catching their Sky Attack onto my Dialga. That's big, I can save some energy for later, and my opponent is going to send in a Terrakion, so my opponent bringing some serious spice to the Master League. Sacred Sword gets me low and they're able to farm down that's a little unfortunate i'm gonna send in landorus and now i have the back-to-back -back superpowers loaded i'm firing off the first into the terrakian terrakian is going to commit the shield and now i'm just firing off the moves back to back this debuffed superpower is still enough to ko in comes lugia unfortunately my switch clock is not quite up just yet and i'm gonna let this go i am fully trusting in reshiram to win this game in comes reshiram my opponent farming up these Dragon Tails doing quite a lot of damage, and they're going to be able to grab a shield from me with the Sky Attack. We'll have to see what they have in the back. They have Conkelder in the back. This is going to be a matchup as to whether I can get rid of Conkelder and leave with enough HP to farm down the Lugia. I'm able to reach the back-to-back -back Fusion Flares. This Fusion Flare is going to KO Conkelder, and now it's going to be a fast move race. Dragon Breath versus Dragon Tail. Reshiram just gets farmed down. Great lead in the next match, Theory and Landorus into Melmetal. I'm just going to farm up a ton of energy as I'm expecting my opponent to try and go for a catch. They do try and go for a catch onto Lugia, and I'm able to fire off a Stone Edge. Stone Edge will do a ton of damage here. My opponent lets it go, and now I can send in Dialga. Dialga's job is basically just to be a damage sponge, absorb the Arrow Blast, farm down, and leave with energy to threaten the Melmetal. They go for the Arrow Blast, it lands, and they get the boost. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Dialga barely able to hang on and farm down on a fraction of health. My opponent, do they bring in the Melmetal? That's exactly what they're going to do. I was just blind mashing the Draco Meteor there. Draco Meteor is able to land. They have a lot of energy, so I decide to go for a Stone Edge Bait. I don't want to debuff myself just yet, but I'm expecting the threat of a superpower is going to be able to grab a shield. From here, they're going to start firing off these neutral rock slides. Rock slide is going to land in the back. They have Ho-Oh, and I'm going to send in Reshiram. With a shield advantage, Reshiram can put in a lot of work here. Fusion Flare, of course, is going to be resisted, but it does very similar damage to what a neutral crunch would do. That's just how good of a move Fusion Flare is. They're going to fire off a charge move. I commit the shield. It's an earthquake, so I'm very happy that I shielded. This is the Brave Bird. Brave Bird, probably going to do more than a rock slide from Melmetal, so I will commit the shield and fully farm down. The thing I do have to watch for here is, of course, the back-to-back -back rock slides. They're firing off the first one. A second rock slide would be lethal. I go for the Fusion Flare. This will be grabbing my opponent's final shield, and I'm going to farm up and try and go for a catch. At this point, I've lost count. I switch into Landorus, and they fire off the rock slide just before I get to the superpower. Rock Slide is gonna KO. It's a race. Reshiram gets to the Fusion Flare, and that will be game over. Fusion Flare takes care of business and secures the win. We've got mirror leads in the next match, Therian Landorus versus Therian Landorus. I don't really want to switch out of this matchup, as Therian Landorus has a ton of play against my backline, so I'm just going to stay in and play out the lead. Unfortunately, they do win the coin flip CMP first, their Stone Edge is going to land, and I'm going to return fire with mine. My Stone Edge is able to land as well. My opponent continues to farm, they bank a superpower, they send in Garchomp, I'm going to bank the Stone Edge for later and bring in Dialga. I decide to commit the shield because I believe I should be able to farm down before they reach a second move. This way I can preserve some HP on Dialga. Dialga is going to get the farm down, but my miscalculation is that they banked a superpower and Landorus wins CMP over Dialga, so unfortunately I'm not going to get to use this energy. They superpower, I'm just going to send in Reshiram and farm them down while they're debuffed. We'll have to see what they have in the back. They have Gyarados. This is not a great spot to be in, but I do have an energy lead, and honestly, Fusion Flare is going to hit 
hit pretty hard into the Gyarados. They fire off the Aqua Tail. I commit my final shield. I'm very close to the back-to-back -back fusion flares. I should be able to grab both shields because if my opponent lets a fusion flare through, I can just farm them down. So I'll fire off the second fusion flare, grab the final shield, and then if you remember from earlier, we stored a Stone Edge on Landorus. Landorus is going to take care of the Gyarados, and that is a good game. Picking up a tricky lead in the next match, Therian Landorus into Garchomp. I'm gonna get a small energy lead and then safe switch into Dialga, and my opponent responds with Excadrill. This is a terrible spot to be in. At the very least, I baited out the Exca, so Reshiram will not have to face it, but still, Dialga just gets absolutely destroyed in this matchup. So I'm just gonna let that go, wait my timer, and then I'm gonna bring in my Landorus. Landorus should be able to tank a Rock Slide. I'm gonna over farm and then fire off the superpower to grab the KO. Rock Slide is going to land. Landorus is able to double up on the superpowers, and I'm firing off the first one. My opponent is probably going to let this go, which they do. They send in Garchomp. I go for the superpower, and superpower is going to do some solid chip damage and burn the rest of my clock. I'm going to send in Reshiram. This is a Sand Tomb. I'm going to let this go. I am trusting in Reshiram to try and close this game. In the back, they have Metagross. This might actually be doable. With my lower defense, these bullet punches are definitely adding up, though. I fire off the Fusion Flare. My opponent is going to commit the shield. Reshiram continues to farm, and I'm going for Fusion Flare number two. My opponent is going to be committing the final shield. My health is starting to get very, very low. And at this point, clocks are starting to come up, so I have to worry about a potential snipe. I continue to farm up here. I have to watch for the snipe. They're gonna fire off their final charge move. And I just have to be very careful here. I'm gonna continue to farm up. In comes the Garchomp. I send in Landorus. Landorus falls just short of reaching the superpower as we lose a heartbreakingly close game. Tough lead in the next match as we lead Therian Landorus into another Giratina Origin. As before, I'm gonna safe switch into Dialga, but this time the Giratina is staying in here. So they wanna get some chip damage before they switch out. I'm gonna let this go. They're running Dragon Pulse, that deals a ton of damage. And now they're gonna send in their Dialga. At the last possible second, I'm gonna fire off the Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is going to be guaranteeing a shield. And then I can wait my clock, or at least I should have waited my clock, and then I'm gonna bring in my Theory and Landorus. I will commit the shield as this is enough for the Draco, and they full sent it, so that proves to be a massive shield. And now that they're debuffed, I'm gonna over farm quite a bit, and then fire off the superpower. Superpower will, of course, KO. Down goes Dialga. They're gonna send in Giratina. I bring in a Reshiram. They're still switch locked, and they don't get to a move. And in the back, they have Guzzlord, my opponent running some very cool spice. But unfortunately, with the massive CP difference, Reshiram is going to be able to handle this nicely. I land the Fusion Flare. I can just shield once, farm down, and I should be able to grab the win. Reshiram gets the farm down and gets the victory. Hopping to the final match, leading Therian Landorus into Zacian. For this matchup, I was actually running Draco Meteor on my Reshiram instead of Overheat. I ended up preferring Overheat. I feel like it is better synergy with Fusion Flare because at 100 energy, you can hold an Overheat and a Fusion Flare together. Whereas unfortunately, you can't hold a Draco and a Fusion Flare at the same time. As you're gonna see, Landorus is going to be able to grab a shield here, which is quite nice but my opponent is going to get the farm down and leave with quite a lot of energy. I'm gonna send in Reshiram as Reshiram is only gonna take neutral from these charge moves, so I should be able to tank one. I'm gonna let this through. My opponent is gonna fire off the player off. That does quite a bit of damage and they should be able to reach another charge move as well. I will commit the shield, go for the farm down and leave with a ton of energy on my Reshiram. My opponent is going to send in Lugia and I fire off the Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor, definitely going to hurt here. It connects, and I'm gonna send in Dialga. Bit of a tough decision to make here, as they will be able to reach the Aeroblast, and Aeroblast hurts quite a bit in level 40 Masters, so I will commit the shield and get the farm down. I obviously don't know what they have in the back, so it's a bit of a gamble, but I'm hoping that with health on Dialga, I should be able to take out whatever they have, and they have a Shadow Metagross. This is not good. I'm gonna bait with an Iron Head here, hoping to try and grab a shield. My opponent calls the bait, this is not good. I'm gonna fire off the Iron Head. They do have the Meteor Mash now. It's just a guessing game as to when they're gonna throw. I'm gonna farm up three, switch, and we get the catch on Tereshiram. Let's go. We predicted correctly. Dialga is going to be able to reach the Iron Head. 
Iron Head will KO, and against all odds, we are able to get the win. All in all, I think Fusion Flare is a pretty big upgrade for Reshiram. You go from having a bait move of Crunch, which was 70 damage and 45 energy, and didn't get same type attack bonus, to now you have a move that does 90 damage and 45 energy, and gets same type attack bonus. So there's a definite noticeable amount of damage. I will say, in terms of dragons, it's not going to compete with the likes of Dialga, so it definitely remains as more of an anti-meta pick, but it is a pick that is significantly improved with Fusion Flare. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible, so thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.